Hi everybody, it's November 24, 2018. Well, it seems Europeans have a fire in their belly and they're getting on the streets, getting into the streets, and they're fed up. Paris burns, fuel tax rebellion, going to trigger civil war. What will be that civil war? Let's just check out this article and see what they say. Okay, well, I read this article. And I think the Civil War is going to be the ordinary against the elite, the rich. Um, these protests now in Paris, they started about a week ago with a few hundred yellow jackets, as you can see the uh, protesters are wearing yellow jackets, yellow vests started in small towns in France, has reached Paris. It's an unusual protest because there are no leaders. It's actually a grassroots protest. People are fed up. In France, the taxes, fuel hikes, their uh, standard of living, Macron's policies, and they're calling for Macron's resignation. I stand with you. I give you all the support. I hope you don't stop. And I hope every French citizen hits the streets. Apparently 73% of France's population is supporting this protest. Uh, but it's, you know, not only... Um, in France, Europeans are protesting Amazon. They're inhuman conditions. There were walkouts. 90% of the employees at a warehouse in Spain walked off the job. 90%. And this is what it looks like in Spain. I guess Europeans don't like being treated like garbage, trash, slaves. And this protest that was taking place in Spain, four months ago, they had walkouts at other Amazon quarters. It's interesting. Um, now, these walkouts apparently were in Germany, UK, Italy, and Spain. And this is the only video that I could find. The only video. I think YouTube is censoring all of the walkouts. Uh, in Britain, apparently, I think six warehouses had planned walkouts for Black Friday. I can't find any videos. Don't want Americans to see this. Americans. It doesn't matter if they see this. On the whole, our population, well, uh, we have been so programmed to be slaves for such a long time that we're very comfortable just being slaves. Bend over and take it. Yeah, I can do that. I'm an American. This is what's happening in France. The government-imposed fuel hikes hitting French cities throughout the week have now swept across the capital. 
There have been clashes with police too, with tear gas and water cannon used against demonstrators who have been wearing yellow safety vests. The valleys have left the streets of Paris on fire. <laughs> 35 protesters have reportedly been detained in Paris on Saturday. According to the Interior Ministry, 81,000 demonstrators came out onto the streets across the country. Two people were killed and more than 600 injured last weekend when the rallies over fuel tax increases began. Auntie Charlotte Dubinsky in Paris has been covering this story from the start. Here on the Champs-Élysées, as you can see, there's a rally gathering behind me and there is a row of police vehicles there. Those police vehicles trying to stop the protesters from going further down the Champs-Élysées. of uh, the Elysee Palace. As you can see, a tear gas has been fired by the police. That's as the protesters were trying to enter into that street to get closer to the Elysee Palace. being shot at the protesters. They keep responding by uh, throwing projectiles towards the security forces. The security forces have also now uh, started using two water cannons. <laughs> this is my computer now. I can't believe it. Yeah, I have another problem. My screen now just shuts off whenever it so chooses. Yeah, my life. Can I just say that it's unfortunate that it gets to this point when you are repeatedly ignored, when you are repeatedly lied to, when your life is getting snuffed out by your government who lies to you this is what happens when people have to suffer the consequences of these government officials and the leaders who represent the elite, who represent uh, they being the puppets of their leaders and they doing nothing for the people. This is what happens. So apparently the interior minister in France is claiming that Le Pen uh, and the ultra-right has brought this protest to violence. And apparently there is uh, now a yellow jacket that they're claiming to have a grenade that they're going to explode. I, my hunch, the police, they take off their uniform, they put on yellow jackets, they go out, they pretend that they're protesters, and then they claim to have a grenade that they're going to explode because the 73% of the French who support this protest, they want to turn. They want to turn that and get ordinary French to not support and if they infiltrate the protest and claim that they have grenades that they're going to explode, my hunch is that a lot of French would say, okay, this has gone too far. And that's how governments and the police and the surveillance state rolls. 
I just, they have a five guys in Paris. They have a five guys in Paris. Wow. All right. Um, what we, the, look, even if they get rid of Macron, if more and more French come out into the streets and keep this up, the pressure on government officials, Macron, will be great. Could they keep it up to a point where Macron will have to resign? They could, absolutely. But what then? Then you get another puppet. Government is the problem. We need to get rid of government. We need to just stop paying those taxes. And yes, you know, whatever it is that we need to do to take back our countries, it's going to hurt. You cannot reverse the tide of this new world order that is taking shape without pain. There's going to be, there, there has to be sacrifices in the struggle to do that. But it's got to be done. Americans, I think they're just too shot. They're, they're too lost of a people. And really, they're just too scared of their own shadow to do anything. Oh, and they're still into, well, I've got to be polite and nice. And Carol, your tone is not quite right. And you sound a little bit harsh. You sound angry. You sound this. You sound that. We're at war. We are at war. People are being killed. Unconventional weapons. But people are dying. People are losing their homes to directed energy weapons in California, in Tennessee, in Portugal and Greece, and in Canada. Uh, millions of Americans just this year have lost their homes or had their homes flooded out or left to ash rubble in California. You think any of this is going to stop? with you sitting back just being nice and polite and having a nice tone so that your social network always approves of you because that's what it's about. You're afraid to ever be angry or confront anybody because your friends and family and community members and your church members, they will just not like that. So your own fear of abandonment keeps you within the confines of socially acceptable behavior, which means go along to get along, shut up, bend over, take everything that comes your way. Governments treat us like crap all the time. Here in our country, it's so freaking obvious that our representatives do not represent the people, they have been representing corporations for decades. Decades this has been going on. Where are Americans? So yeah, it's going to hurt if we could all, you know, unite, put away those paltry, insignificant differences, and unite as a people stop paying taxes, stop listening to your local government officials who are just so low, stop bending over and taking it. That'll hurt for a while because it's going to be a whole restructuring of your communities. But you know what? Doing nothing, that's really going to hurt. And millions upon millions upon millions of Americans have already suffered the consequences of not doing anything. They've lost their homes. They've lost everything. They've gone homeless. They have faced Americans who don't give a shit. They know what the consequences are. Those of you who are comfortable, you're lucky up to this point. You may not be lucky tomorrow. So, 
banding together, standing united. And yeah, unfortunately, it does take this kind of action. You know, uh, the protests that have gone on here. Oh, and then you hear a leader who's all, uh, who's who's voicing the discontent of the protest, and then they just lie to you. They lie and lie and lie, and you accept the lies and go on thinking, well, it's eventually going to change. Everything's going to get better. Look, America is being made great again. Carol, can't you see what Trump is doing? No, I can't. You're being lied to. You know, it's very few Americans have that fire in their belly. Most are just dead. Most are just dead walking robots. Doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Some expecting different results. Some not even caring, just getting through their life until they die. Yeah, a shakeup is <laughs> absolutely necessary. But, you know, Europeans, man, they can get out on the streets. They do get fed up. Now, Will this lead to Macron resigning? If more and more French come out, if they keep this up, if they bring Paris to a halt, who knows what the result will be, but as I've always said, we have to let go of the result. We have to take the action. The action causes a ripple effect. What the effect will be, we can speculate all day long. But we know exactly, exactly what the result is of no action. We know that outcome. We don't know the outcome of taking action. And if more and more and more people get fed up and say to hell with it, I'm going to fight because I'm tired of being a slave that is treated like garbage, disrespected, ignored, at least then you have some dignity. So you guys in France, you have my support. All of you Amazon employees who are walking off the job, I wish that would happen worldwide. All of you walk off. See what the richest man in the world will do. He won't be able to get his robots up and running immediately. But then you need the non-Amazon employees to also stand with you and not fill in and become an employee of Amazon as you're protesting. Aren't you tired? Aren't you really tired of getting screwed all the time? Aren't you tired of your government officials not listening to you? Aren't you tired of those town council meetings where you get two to three minutes to talk? You can't ask any questions. Your town council member, they sit in very comfortable chairs. They don't even look at you. They're not listening to you. And after your three min minutes is done, they say thank you and then call out the next name. But they do what they want to do, not what you guys in your communities 
are asking or demanding them to do. So another tactic needs to be taken, which is you get organized in your communities and you go into these town council members' offices and demand that they resign. You put the pressure on them. You don't pay the taxes. You don't obey their dictates. You don't comply. But I am afraid Americans are just too wussy. They just, well, I can't do that. I'm sorry. Even here in my apartment complex, something has happened, and this past year has been absolutely horrible. People have moved because they can't stand living here. We're treated like shit by the property manager. The disrespect is so obvious, it's so clear. Even the maintenance guys who are illegal immigrants from Mexico, they don't give a shit. There's like a sick dynamic between the property manager and the maintenance and they don't care how they treat the tenants. So I've said to the tenants, I said, let's all get together and go and speak to the property man. Oh, I can't do that. I'm sorry. No, I won't do that. Uh, why? Well, I, you know, afraid of being retaliated. So if one person complains, which was me, and I did get retaliated against, one person gets destroyed by sick people. There's strength in numbers. But even then, all I face are Americans just, I can't do it. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't want to seem like I'm confrontational. And yeah, well, so you would prefer to be treated like trash. Wow. So we need a psychic change, unfortunately, and that requires work on the individual's part for them to understand why am I... Why do I put up with being treated like crap? Why? Why am I so afraid to speak out? Without that work, Americans will always stay the same. But what really upsets, not just me, but others, the ripple effect of their living in fear and too afraid, they've got to be very nice and polite, too afraid to fight for anything, the ripple effect of that action means we all have to suffer the consequences. So I think the civil war here in America will be the people against the people. The civil war in France if that actually does occur, it will be the ordinary French against the rich. The ordinary French standing united. I'll link below, and there's a lot of videos on what is taking place in France. Um, moving on to Belgium. It's having a ripple effect now protests are starting in Belgium. Most of the protesters' anger is targeted at Mr. Macron, Mr. Puppet, a pro-business centrist accused of indifference to the struggles of ordinary people. They're all indifferent to the struggles of ordinary people. The leader, our congressmen and women, our local government officials, our state government officials, they don't care about you. And that's happening across the board, all over the world. So if the people don't rise up, don't bitch and complain about what you get. And what you get, ooh, it's really going to hurt.